we welcome you back to Ames, Iowa, where Oklahoma State plays on while grieving, ranked second in the BCS standings, and Rod controlling their own destiny to play for the national championship. 10-0 for the first time in history. Jarvis West and Josh Lenz will be back from the Quinn Sharp kick, who leads the nation in touchbacks. And you can add another. He's the leader in touchbacks by 19. Back to pass on the first play of the game. Takes a shot downfield and gets it incomplete. Looked like it was right in the hands of Albert Gary. And James White gets the call. And White with just a gain of about a yard and a half. Across the middle, and it looks like that's going to be just short of the line to make to boot it away. And Josh Cooper is deep for the Pokes. And he calls for the fair catch at the 25. Joseph Randall, and Randall scoots ahead and fights his way, spinning out to the 28, drafted. Second and seven now for Whedon. Look at the time he has, and that was low intended for his star receiver, Justin Black. Delayed handoff to Randall, and Randall is wrapped up right away by A.J. Klein. Quinn Sharp with a big boot as Josh Lenz calls for the fair catch inside the 20. Going to beat the number two team in the country. You need some good things to happen for you. You need mistakes by that team. Oklahoma State, two turnovers in the first quarter tonight, but Iowa State has not yet taken advantage of that. Barnett to pass again, and once again complete. That's Darius Reynolds. Really trusting Barnett through the air. Oh, and that should have been caught. Good job tonight, but the receivers. Have to come through. Third and five. Escapes the initial pressure. And then gets it complete for a first down to Darius Dunks. And keep a drive alive. Jeff Woody a reverse. Now Reynolds being chased. He wants to throw it. And it's incomplete. And there was motion there. Full start. Offense number 69. Second and 15, design quarterback run for Barnett. Crosses midfield and dives out to the 47-yard line. Third and four now. Pressure up the middle, just dumps it to the running back. Woody, who fights and spins for another Iowa State first down. Headline. Play action now on first down, and this is complete to Darks. Against the Oklahoma State offense. Exactly. Don't have him on the field. Another first down with more hard running. In tempo, they're running the quarterback. Oh, this is going to be a pick six. How about it, Sean Lewis? Jeremy Smith now, and Smith forces his way to the 14-yard line. One points a game. The late handoff this time goes nowhere. Smith was just smothered on the inside that time. Pressure, and then they back off and only bring three. Whedon with time, downfield, has a man, and what an effort by Colton Chelf. Stretching out, twisting oh. and turning his body wow. and stabbing the one foot. The long ball is continuing for Oklahoma State. Whedon now, and now maybe he has found his groove as Tracy Moore streaks inside the 35. And they really stretch your linebackers and safeties. And quickly now they go with the screen to Chelf, and Chelf has it. The screen again, and a first down by Chelf again. Here's Whedon. And this time it's Cooper crossing. And Cooper gets it to the 16-yard line. Now here's the screen to Blackman. Blackman makes one move, then the stiff arm, but a gain of just three yards. 
Smith has to fight for it, and he comes up short. A.J. Klein once again. 16 of 18 on the year. And he drills the 29-yarder. Jarvis West with the return. And West able to get it out to the 27-yard line. Jarvis West now with the direct snap. And West fights his way for about two and a half yards. He with the grieving families. And you have to be able to respect that, which we do. Aaron Horn. Look at the move by Aaron Horn. Sidestepping the would-be tackler. College actually came over here with the backup quarterback. And White is brought down that time. First quarter, second and 13 now for Barnett. Quarterback draw, and he slides down. He's going to take a shot downfield. And that's off the hands of Horn, but the flag comes in. The coverage was by Zach Craig. Pass defense, number 23. 15-yard penalty, automatic first foul. James White tried to go against the grain there. There's White again. It's against Oklahoma State. Takes a shot to the end zone, and they come up with it. Darius Reynolds with the touchdown catch. How about this? A short bouncing kick fielded at the six yard line by Josh Stewart. Stewart then keeps his balance and then is taken down at the 25. Heisman Trophy candidate looking to get things going here for the Cowboys, and that is incomplete until December 2nd. And that'll be a first down as Josh Cooper just lowered his pads at the end. Play clock. They are lined up and snapping at 28. And that crossing the 40 was Isaiah Anderson. In the nation. Second and four. Whedon, plenty of options. He goes with Jeremy Smith. And Smith has it out to midfield where it'll be a first down for the Cowboys. Very mature player is Johnson. And this is Cooper again. A quick strike from Wheaton. And now Smith coming out of the backfield on the other side. Coach Mike Gundy. And here's Blackman now. And Blackman shakes the first would-be tackler and then high steps his way. Brandon Wheaton. What a throw and catch to Justin Blackman. Ocean. And Whedon has now completed 13 of his last 14 passes. Remember what Paul Rhodes said, the Iowa State head coach. We want to survive in 10-minute chunks. We want to get to the half still in this game. Instead, they pass. Pressure, so he tucks it, runs it, makes a move, and slides right near the sticks. Two timeouts for Iowa State. And that was thrown behind Aaron Horn. Second and ten now. Barnett walks it downfield and overthrew Albert Gary. They only bring three. Barnett scrambles and he's going to be just short. Ball came out at the end, but he was down. This is a fourth and one with Barnett. After the timeout, and they are able to pick it up with Jeff Woody. As the clock is running again, and he clocks it, leaving eight seconds in the half. 57-yarder in his career. And there is the shot, but it goes incomplete, leaving now just three seconds as Darius Darks. Some pressure on Barnett as he tries to launch it. And he actually gets it complete, but the clock has run out and inside the 10 and unable to make a desperate effort for the goal line was Albert Gary. And a late flag comes in, and at this 
passes on the defense, Rod. Half cannot, half cannot end. end on a defensive penalty, so this could be critical, this call right here. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense, number 37. That 15 yard penalty will be scored in the third quarter at the end of the first half. Explain that to me, right? It, it occurred after oh. the play was over, the not dead during ball. the play. So since it was a dead ball foul, the, the half can end. Because of the fact that it was the dead ball, they catch the break there. Yeah, right there. Watch this. That's Elkins. He's the guy. You get the sense when they do turn it on, boy, oh, boy, they can... Slice up this defense, but Iowa State has played tough. Running game from Oklahoma State as well. And Cooper with a gain of 12. Let's check in with Samantha Steele. Cost them dearly in that first half. Whedon incomplete that time. And 10 now. And they keep it on the ground with Joseph Randall, and he goes nowhere in this. Iowa State run defense came in ranked 104th in the country. Blackman. A first down is complete to Tracy Moore. Here's Randall now, and a big hole for Randall, and a gain of nine for the sophomore running back. Thrill here against number two Oklahoma State. And Randall. Utilizing that block in front from Nick Martinez. Weeding the pass now on first down. And he overthrew the intended target of Tracy Moore. For Iowa State, gets one of the best players in the country. Second and ten, and this is a strike to Moore again. And Moore keeps his footing and goes right into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. And he showed you his level of athleticism there as Oklahoma State Takes the ball, opening drive of the second half. Paul Rob is very proud of that as Coach Rhodes, of the support he's been receiving from the fans. This is Jarvis West from the one-yard line. And Jarvis West cuts back and has a lot of green in front of him. And out to midfield, a very good return from a 5'7", 160-pound redshirt freshman, Texas Tech. But tonight relying on the pass a little more, and this ball is secure by Albert Gary. He found Tracy Moore to make the margin 17. Barnett looking downfield. Incomplete. Darius Reynolds. Grasp of the ball, the two hands plus against his face mask. Yeah, so you, you've got to have control through coming down. Does he have control? And that's at this my point. question is right there. Is that control or because it's touched the ground? And I, I just don't think that's enough evidence to overturn the call. It looks to me like the nose of that ball touched the ground. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. Which means they didn't have the video evidence. And Jarvis West will be about a yard short of moving those sticks. Have to use two downs. And a quick snap, and they are able to pick it up with Jeff Woody. West now comes around, but they keep it with Barnett, and he has to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Projections this week. And there was motion up front with... Ball start. Offense, number 75. Five-yard penalty, second down. And they keep it with James White, and James White to the outside, and James White inside the 10. Touchdown, Cyclones! Cat by James White. And they go with the onside kick. Can you believe that? Reeves on special teams. Right on top of it, and what guts and timing by head coach Paul Rose. For the Cyclones, Barnett takes a strike, and that ball is pulled in by Albert Gary. And playing with some confidence now. And that ball 
is off the hands of Reynolds. Keep them with their helmets off. Second and ten now. Barnett diving effort goes incomplete as Darks. Pressure steps up. Gonna try to do it on his own. He's got it with ease inside the 15. Ball comes loose. And we will see. Yes, indeed. Alex Elkins recovers the fumble. He had the first down. The ball is knocked out by Thomas and clearly recovered inbounds by Elkins. And staying on the ground is Randall in great pursuit and a tackle for loss as A.J. Klein. Whedon from his end zone incomplete. It'll make for a third and all and a flag came in late. Pass in the field. Defense, number 43. Start of the foul. Automatic first foul. So that's yeah. the breathing room for Oklahoma State. Look at that it, right hand. Yeah, it, it's a good call. And again, I talked to the officials down for Oklahoma State. They go with the screen game. And Cooper with just two yards that time. Second and eight. Here's Joseph Randall. Picks up a block and has a first down. Still on his feet and forces his way to the 25 where the ball comes loose and Iowa State recovers. Leonard Johnson with the fumble recovery. Had the first down. He's trying to fight for more. He's wrapped up by three. And that's when the stripping begins. And Latimer is the one who stripped it out. I tell you, this Iowa State defense just will not quit. They will not give up. Oklahoma State. And the inside handoff this time as James White gets down to the 22-yard line. Need Oklahoma State to stay alive and then get them in Bedlam. And this will bring up a third and about three and a half. Barnett. First down. Jarvis West a little shaken big. And it will be first and goal for Iowa State. We'll catch earlier. Quarterback runs, spins out of it, does Barnett, and gets to the five, and a flag comes in. Holding. Offense, number 75. 10-yard penalty. Repeat first down. Option to the far side, and Barnett can't go anywhere at all. He lost a yard and a half. Barnett gets away from the pressure, and then able to connect with James White. Barnett has time over the middle and incomplete. And a flag does come in. Pass interference. Defense, number three. Start of the foul. Automatic first down. Now that's the freshman, Masolero, who's in playing free safety because of the injuries yeah. that we just documented moments ago. Yeah, he made full contact early on. Design quarterback run. Only about a yard and a half. Mm -hmm. Barnett batted down by two Barnett to the end zone incomplete defended by Martin and we've got a touchdown game with major BCS title implications. And James White is gobbled up for no game. Barnett, second and ten. They go with the screen, and West cuts back and picks up the first down. Jarvis West deading. Barnett, pressure up the middle, escapes it. Launches it downfield. And it is incomplete. Chris Young was the intended target. He came back for the ball. Barnett complete. And first down as once again Darius Reynolds and they're saying the ball came loose at the end but the officials say otherwise Oklahoma State was arguing for it. a double whistle in practice to promote fighting for the ball Reynolds now on the screen and he's out to the 42 and that was close to being a 15 yarder but then Alex Elkins had the smarts enough to say I got to let go of him here Probably on the depth chart in fall camp. Could he lead the way here? Inside handoff to James White. 
Barnett. Complete again. Aaron Horn. And how about the confidence now in Jared Barnett, Rod? Pressure off the edge. Spins away from it. And threw it to the inside. The young quarterback. They go with the inside screen and good blocking in front for Albert Gray. They are all the way down to the 24-yard line. Screen again. Good block in front again. And another first down for Iowa State. Six-minute mark in this game. He keeps himself inside the 10. They're going to win. But something special is in the air here. And to the end zone. Touchdown! Albert Gary, special indeed. Another well-thrown ball. And a tremendous catch by Gary. He punched it through. Let me tell you something. If Iowa State pulls this off, utter chaos. I'm going to throw these BCS standings into a blender. Intercepted. Alex Elkins. Late flag comes in. He got one hand on the return. Personal foul. Horse collar tackle. Offense number 75. 15 yard penalty. First foul. Blackman in this dangerous offense. They keep it on the ground with Smith. And Jeremy Smith slides there at the 25 yard line. And in line for a possible BCS title. Nothing doing that time. Short of the first down as Cooper was wrapped up by Broomfield to take the lead. It is no good. No good. But officials didn't blow one. Look at how close Syracuse. It it's got to go to the inside of that upright, yeah. and I think it goes right over the upright. Yeah, it's it's really, really high, and it continues to fade. But in him, with a minute 17 to play, quarterback draw, flag is down. You may have a holding, ball is loose. Ball came out at the end there. And Iowa State jumps on it. Holding, offense, number 75, 10-yard penalty. Repeat first down. To get a win, and then you want to face him in Bedlam. I think this is the right move by Iowa State. 0 oh, and 18 all time against ranked teams in the top two is Iowa State. But they have taken number two to the absolute limit here. Oklahoma State, what is your decision? Two. Hells is his call. It's Pills, you won the toss. Defense first. Defense, which end of the field? Was 351 yards. This is the running quarterback with 351 yards. Reverses field and run right over his right. Touchdown, Cyclones. <laughs> and now, Oklahoma State must score seven. Whedon gets it complete and a first down that time. Joseph Randall inside the 10. Randall again. It's going to be third and a long one as Patrick Neal was quick to jump on Joseph Randall. To the end zone. Touchdown. Josh Cooper. And we will go to a second overtime. Whedon to start the second overtime. Ball's in the air, and it is intercepted by Terry Benton. Jake Knott gets the tip.
with the deflection, which allows the pick by Thomas. I'm sorry, Benton. Inside handoff. <laughs> Zach Geyer, the place kicker, will it come down to him? That's a first down run, and look at Woody! All the way inside the five, it's gonna be first and goal. Woody. Touchdown, they did it! I'm not sure that this field can fit all 52,000, but they're gonna try.